Under the surface of the water in Truk Lagoon lives the largest coral reef in Micronesia. Like all coral reefs, this one began with single polyps, small coral animals best seen at night when they stretch out their tentacles to feed on floating plankton. Polyps attach themselves to hard surfaces and excrete a cup-like skeleton for a home. In Truk Lagoon, the wrecks of Japanese ships sunk in a battle during World War II laid the foundation for one of the most diverse ecosystems on Earth. This blue chromis fish lives in a gun barrel. Over the last half century, thousands of coral skeletons became the hills and valleys of a reef. Other animals move into the reef seeking food and shelter. Coral reefs house over 25% of all marine life. Commercial fish, like this grouper, live in reefs, and some sharks rely on the reefs for food. Coral reefs help protect other habitats too. Truck Lagoon's reef serves as a buffer for coastal mangrove forests. Sand roughed away from the reef makes soil for the roots of the mangrove trees. In return, mangroves filter sediment from the land and make a great foraging habitat for reef creatures. Mudskippers are fish that live in and out of the water. Reinforced forefins make workable arms and mudskippers elbow their way between watering holes exposed at low tides. Bulging gill pouches allow them to breathe out of water. Fiddler crabs dine in the mangroves too, before scurrying back to the shelter of the reef. Like all the Earth's ecosystems, coral reefs have suffered from human activities. Dredging and filling for land development, like airport runways, have hurt some reefs. Other corals die when ocean temperatures rise from global warming. Bleached skeletons are all that remain. Although coral reefs cover a tiny fraction of the ocean, they are the rainforests of the sea. Diverse, fragile, vital. <laughs>